It never ceases to amaze me that intelligent, well-educated and ambitious people frequently overlook developing the number one skill that is guaranteed to position them ahead of the crowd, namely the ability to stand up and speak eloquently with confidence, or at very least stagger to their feet and say anything at all. <laughs> As Toastmasters, we are committed to be competent communicators. But I maintain, however, even the most dedicated Toastmaster can even more effectively prepare and present powerful programs by understanding in depth the three necessary ingredients that go into every presentation what I call million-dollar words speaking for results. Those three ingredients, the structure, the foundation, the organization of how you put your remarks together, the material, what it is you actually say, your knowledge, your wisdom, and third, of course, the delivery, how you say it. And I maintain, if you do not know what you are going to say, organized in a logical way so you and your audience can remember, it's very difficult to work on the pizzazz, how you say it, so much of how we emotionally connect with our audiences. In front of you, you have a very simple tool, a sheet of paper. It's a diagram, <laughs> hopefully very valuable. You will see at the top there is a circle. That stands for the first 30 seconds of a presentation. Come out punching, grab the audience. Then questions, answer the questions an audience might have in their mind about you, your subject, what you have to say about the subject and what the connection is. Then the premise or the objective. What is it that you are going to talk about in one clear sentence? If you can't define what you're going to talk about in one sentence, the audience probably won't be able to remember. A couple of weeks ago, I followed a speaker and I was going to sum up what he said and he was giving a two-hour program. I said, can you give me a general outline of what you're going to talk about? He gave me one word. I said, that's a man who really understands his subject if he can sum up two hours in one word. <laughs> then you'll see the points of wisdom. The points of wisdom, perhaps the rationale that make the case for your objective. The circles stand for the stories, the examples, the analogies that make your state case. Because people don't remember what you say. They remember what they see when you describe what you're talking about. Then you see at the end, any questions, if it's a small group and it's appropriate, then you might sum up what you've done and close on a high. Very simple. I suggest as you put together your remarks, you might use that as a guide, or perhaps if you have a speech that you give frequently, look how it would fit in that formula.